So um, now let's take a look at, at Trump's apparent five-step plan, which, I mean, it, it's pretty effective. Trump went to East Palestine. Trump's parading around the country, you feel me? And, and Republicans uh, still like him. So if Trump shows strength, and I mean, wh- why would you think that they would want to move on? Okay, so here we go. Former President Trump is convinced his attacks on Ron DeSantis are chipping away at the Florida governor's support and confidence. All right, so let's check this out. So let's check out these five steps. Number one, here we go. DeSantis is past support for changes to Social Security and Medicare, including votes as a U.S. congressman including votes as a U.S. congressman to raise the eligibility age of, for Medicare. And I'm actually glad that they put this one at number one, because this is perhaps the most important substantive attack that Donald Trump can and will use relentlessly against Ron DeSantis, because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And regardless of what party you're in, uh, cutting Social Security and, and Medicare is not a popular position. We've, we've paid into it, especially people who are receiving it or who are eligible to receive it now. They've been paying into it for decades and it's theirs, you feel me? Like there's really no argument to be had about it about it not being theirs. So that really is the biggest thing. As we pointed out the other day, Mike Pence went on to CNBC and for five and a half minutes, all he talked about was cutting Medicare and Social Security. Because my grandbabies, I don't want them to suffer from all of this debt and the deficit. You know, all that BS. And the same old jazz that the Republicans been singing for decades. This is nothing new. But Donald Trump is going to be saying, no, I ain't going to touch Social Security. I ain't going to touch Medicare. It, it's just effective. You know what I'm saying? It just is, especially when the Republican Party, they're going to keep on singing that same song that they've been singing. And if Ron DeSantis doesn't staunchly come out and say, you know what? That was the past. Now I've changed my mind. And this is why I've changed my mind. And yeah, Jason, you a hundred. That's a hundred, man. This dude ain't even going to fucking run. Like, why? Like, why, bro? Because this is going to he's going to have to fight so hard. And it's like, why even do it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you going to come out and say that you're not against uh, that, that, that you are, in fact, for keeping Medicare and Social Security intact or investing more into it? Screw it. Fuck out of here. Uh, um, I don't really, uh, in terms of the general Jason, I, well, thus, if, if Trump can't win over independence, then he can't win. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's really the thing. Like, sure. He still has the Republican party, but if he can't win over, um, if he can't win over independence, then that's it. So if, uh, well, we still got to see what happens. Here you go. Uh, Will. We still we still got to see what happens with um uh if if Biden's student loan debt is going to be upheld or struck down, that's going to make a big difference. If, if that's upheld, then um that'll just help Biden coast through the election easier because that that will have been his biggest um his biggest political accomplishment, his big, biggest legislative accomplishment. If that doesn't pass, then it's going to be harder. You know, he's really going to have to campaign. The Democratic Party is going to have to campaign. But per usual, they're 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 only saving graces. We're not we're not as crazy as the Republican Party. We'll throw you a bone at least. You know, so we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, <Jazzy. laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm with y'all. I'm more and more. It's looking like this dude ain't going to run. So number two, oh, of course, we know he going to we already know he going to talk about the disloyalty. DeSantis, you have been disloyal to Donald Trump after he helped DeSantis get elected governor in 2018. And actually, um, we and, and I'm going to pull that up because we um, we looked at that commercial the other day. The 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 brown nosing that Ron DeSantis did in his first campaign commercial. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember that? Where is it? Matter of fact, we 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 gonna play this. I'm gonna play this right now, and then we are gonna get back into this article. Just just so so we can remind ourselves of the cringe of Ron DeSantis and how much he was kissing Trump's behind. Like this ain't gonna come back to bite him. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Everyone knows my husband Ron DeSantis is endorsed by President Trump, but he's also an amazing dad. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. He reads stories. Then Mr. Trump said, you're fired. I love that part. He's teaching Madison to talk. Make America great again. People say Ron's all Trump, but he is so much more. Big league. So good. I just thought you should know. You know what I'm saying? And so again, like I, I thought it was good. I wanted us to look at that again real quick because again, it's like this dude is going to take out Donald Trump. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, that was then. This is now. Like, do you understand how hard he's going to have to bring the fucking pain to knock this man Donald Trump out after that cringe, after that level of ass kissing, and brown nosing, and dick sucking, and ball licking, and tank sniffing? My brother, you cannot beat this man. So don't even run. Number three, Trump wants to cast DeSantis as a lackey, as a lackey of former House Speaker Paul Ryan. Oh yeah, and Paul Ryan, he he does not have the juice. He just doesn't have any any charisma either. And that's one of the Republican Party's biggest problems when it comes to Donald Trump. Y'all let this man into your party. Lindsey Graham's famous statement where he said, hey, "If we elect Donald Trump, we'll, we're going to be destroyed, and we will deserve it." It's interesting how life is filled with irony because now the beast is loosed and they can't contain it. They can't they, they can't do nothing with the base and they can't do nothing with Donald Trump. You know, like, sure, you could say like you could throw these political arguments in there and say stuff like, well, um, you know, Donald Trump's candidates lost. That is true. A lot of Donald Trump's candidates did lose. However, those candidates were not Donald Trump. No, 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 no. This is the presidential election. This is the big leagues. This is the big vision. You know what I'm saying? This is looking at the top of getting to the top of the mountain, rather. You feel me? This is totally different. On Trump's social media site, Truth Social, he attacked Ryan this week. He attacked Ryan this week as a loser who couldn't get elected dog catcher. <laughs> he called him a dog catcher. See, again, Trump's funny, man. He's a showman. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> Donald Trump is about to entertain and troll his way into the Republican 2024 presidential nominee. Number four, DeSantis' response to COVID is a top Trump target, even though the governor is known for resisting mask mandates. Trump plans to attack DeSantis' caution in the earliest days of the pandemic and try to fight the issue to a draw. A March 2020 headline in the Tampa Bay Times said, DeSantis orders major shutdown of beaches, businesses in Broward, Palm Beach. Boom, he's going to hit him with that. And number five, DeSantis took heat from mother comments in a Fox News interview last week about whether to maintain financial and military support for Ukraine. Trump plans to portray DeSantis as wishy-washy on the war while he tows the MAGA line of cutting aid. Bro, Donald Trump is not playing with these motherfuckers, man. He not, he not fucking around. This is actually hilarious. This really is fucking hilarious. And the reason this is hilarious is because the Republicans can't do shit about it. They can't. What the, what the fuck they gonna... The only thing that Republicans could do about this man is if Ron DeSantis was somebody that he is not. If, if you could insert another personality inside of Ron DeSantis, then y'all would have a chance. But you can't do that because this is the real world. A DeSantis spokesman had no comment on Trump's criticisms. See, look at this. Look at this bullshit. It's weak, 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 weak. Yeah, we just went over these polls the other day. So yeah, so... Uh, Ron DeSantis, don't run, man. If it, it, your your political future, but see, here's the thing: Ron DeSantis is a piece of shit, right? So it's like, hey, if he does if he does run, he's gonna get his ass destroyed relentlessly. If he doesn't run, he's gonna look like he's not as strong as Donald Trump. I would say this is a well deserved position for Ron DeSantis to be in. Would you not? Would you not agree with me? I would say. Hey, man, this is the bed you made for yourself, you know, bootstraps and personal responsibility and all that shit. You feel me? 